Very sweet. So you, you can see how that would change a, you know, a town where there's not a lot of people walking and just a lot of cars going, you know, really fast to something where cars will actually slow down and start noticing all this different activity and it creates a totally different environment. Right. So speaking of totally different environments and activities in public zones, we're going to go to Rome next. As I was just listening to the tail end of your last presentation about public space, I couldn't resist changing my destination a little bit here to um, just walk you through some public spaces in Rome. You hear okay. that noise? Wow. This is the Parliament building of Italy and the trade unions are protesting about contracts and they're doing so in front of an obelisk which was previously in Egypt on the tomb of a pharaoh. Here in Rome, so public space, I know you were talking about um, piazzas and outdoor seating and tables, and that's what I'm walking through. And so I just turned the corner. All right, here we go. And this is the Pantheon. We'll stop that in just a second. Mm. And kind of normal buildings. I mean, for Italy, these are normal medieval buildings, but right in the middle of it all is this ancient monument, spelled out in treatises like the one by Vitruvius. And he would tell us that the proportion of the column width and the space between the columns and the height of the columns was dictated by mathematics. And this building is wrong according to those proportions. It's wrong by exactly 10 feet. I feel like I'm there. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be putting a mask on as I get up here and I'm going to have to be having my temperature taken. And there's no ticket to get in here because this is a church today. And in fact, in 600 AD, the Pantheon was converted into a church and has been open as a public space ever since then. So you're going to get the view upwards here. Since I'm not supposed to have video on, but that's okay. Here, I'm going to just use this to sanitize my hands and my phone. Always sanitize your phone. It's the dirtiest thing you have. Okay. So I just walked through these bronze doors. This is called stealth video. you all the way up. Isn't that pretty amazing? It's very beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful building. Ooh. 